Well, number 43, Richard Petty. That's right. <laughs> this isn't actually one of his cars, is it? No, sir. It's a tribute car. Okay, so this is a replica of Richard Petty's 1984 200th win in NASCAR. Yes, sir. Firecracker 400, right? That's correct. As far as NASCAR goes, there's no one like Richard Petty. Over a thousand races, won 200 of them. How many national titles he gets? Seven? Seven championships. Wasn't the 1984 car donated to the Smithsonian? Yes, sir, the original was. So you were just an Uber fan, wanted to make like a tribute car, and you built it. It's more than that. We actually, by happenstance, found the original car builder that built Richard's car. Okay. And he helped build it. So he helped build it? So what kind of motor has it got? Uh, it's got a small block Chevrolet in it. Okay. A little different than the actual car. It's got two seats. <laughs> yes, sir. And we got Richard's autograph on the dash. Cool. No, I mean, you did an incredible job. How much you guys want for this? I'd like to get $125,000 for it. $125,000. All right. Can we take it for a test spin? Absolutely. All right. Who's driving with me? He's driving with you. Okay. We can sort of kill two birds with one stone. Okay. Um, I'd like my buddy to take a look at it. Can we drive it over there? Sure. Let's get in. <laughs> It's fun to drive. <laughs> it gets attention on the road. Right? Oh, yeah. Motor's definitely dialed in. <laughs> no, I mean, everything about the car is great. I mean, it's just like, it's fun to drive. It drives great. It's fun. It gets a share of attention, for sure. The man himself. Hey, Rick, what you got going, man? Where'd you find that thing? It's a tribute car to your 200th race. Does it look like it? It looks a whole lot like it, for sure. You looking at buying this thing? If we could work something out, you know, but uh, I wanted you to take a look at it, see what you thought, and then um, want to make sure that's your autograph inside there. All right, we'll check that out. Everything else looks good. Yeah, that looks like I've done that. What was it like after you won that race and suddenly there was that 200 in front of your name? It was a big deal. Nobody's ever going to break that record. Nobody's going to live that long. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. So now that uh, I got the info on it, I'm going to try and hash out some business, and I'll talk to you here in a little bit. Okay. All right. So how much you want for this thing? 125. All right. So would you take 80 for it? I can't do 80. I got too much sentimental stuff with it. So what's your best price? Oh gosh. Kind of really solid on that 125. You go 90? I just, I just, I just don't think I can pull the trigger on that. I mean, because I, I mean, at the end, that's most I could go on it. I mean, like, it's an amazing car, and I'd love to keep it, but you know, I have too many cars at the moment, so I got to resell it and make money. Sure, you wouldn't take 90. I, I don't think I could. I think my wife would probably shoot me if I took 90. I can't, I can't get there. Not at 90. All right, well, if you change your mind, you can always drive it to Vegas. Oh, now I got to give transportation <laughs> too, huh? 